And if we knew where this thing started, then maybe we could kill it. Fine, and welcome to 94.7 High Fast Area. It is great to have you here with us. Thank you. Thank you. I guess the big question to ask is, what was that initial response or like your initial action when you heard that you got this big role in World War Z? I, I was over the moon. I mean, I, I, I couldn't breathe. It was a huge shock for me. Um, it happened so quickly. It happened extremely quickly. Um, there were no auditions. It, it, it was all on the phone, and the next thing, I was on a plane to Malta. It was a roller coaster. So let's take it back. I mean, you know, you get to set. What was that first day like? I was a nervous wreck. So the first day was just, you know, I, I didn't think I was going to get through it. And then I met Brad Pitt, and, and I thought, wow, mm -hmm. he's right here. Yeah. He, he kind of made me feel comfortable mm. on, on set. Um, I think he knew that it was his responsibility, really. Um, Being producer as Yeah, well. he made the first move, came and we talked about South Africa. He told me about his trip to, to, to South Africa nice. and he asked me about Mandela. He actually embarrassed me a little bit because... He embarrassed you? <laughs> yeah, he embarrassed me big time. He asked me um, why um, we had to spend 67 minutes on Mandela Day. Right. And I wasn't quite sure. Get Google out so, of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, uh, why is it 67 minutes? You know, and then I had to go and I had to research and then I came back and was like, that's because, you know. <laughs> you know, we all look back here in South Africa, we watch these people on Hollywood screens and making the movies and EPKs. Is the Hollywood filmmaking process really all that glamorous? I think we, we do overrate it. Like, did you have your little trailer vibes? Oh yeah, well, that happened. <laughs> you see, so there we go, tick one already. <laughs> But that, that's kind of expected, you yeah. know. Um, in when Hollywood. You, yeah, in Hollywood, mm. that's kind of expected. But the work remains the same. So I guess I was doing my research, and I, I see this picture, and Fana McQuenna comes out, New York premiere, World War Z. You were at the premiere in New York with Brad Pitt, you know, Matthew Fox. What was that experience like for you? It was incredible. Um, it was my first time ever in the US. Oh, wow. Um, and, and, that was the <laughs> That's what you do the first time? <laughs> <laughs> this is not the first time you've worked with director Mark Foster. I mean, you worked with him on uh, Machine Gun Preacher. Was it a bit more comfortable to know that you're working with a director you've worked with before? I think Mark's kind of made me feel important. At the premiere, he introduced everybody, right? And then sort of ended with me. Oh, wow. And said, and Fana Mugwena, who came all the way from South Africa, um, please give him a round of applause. Hey, when they hear South Africa, As they go, man, hey? Like, somehow we got that power. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody was asking me, they, they said to me, um, do I get irritated by the fact that everybody keeps calling me the South African actor, Fana McQueen? And I said, no, 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 it makes me feel proud. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's, it makes me feel bigger than I am. It makes me feel like I represent a whole, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so when he said that, you know, everybody was clapping. And it's in this, this huge auditorium. I'm like, wow, man, this is why I'm working. Beautiful. Yeah. Fana, thank you so much. Thank you, man. It was awesome. Thank you, All brother. the best for the future. Thank you very much.